Check this out. Still up on the ridge. Got this little gully going down. And then I love it. Look at the little palm tree. But anyway, it's, uh, just wanted to get that gully right there. And uh, just really, really enjoying the hike. Feel quite safe back here. I'm sure there's bears somewhere. Here's another uh, area where it's going down. I thought I had a cobweb. <laughs> I'm, I'm spider paranoid at this point. But uh, isn't that beautiful? Love it. Let's just get a little more. All right, here we go. Thought I'd hike over just to a little point on the ridge and just do a, uh, a quiet uh, panoramic here. Still up on the ridge, another bench. Uh, boy, I tell you, these were all put in by the scouts. It's a shame the scouts don't exist no more. But uh, I'm going to stop here on the way back and uh, get a nice long drink of water. Maybe have a swim gym. But nice. I mean, this nice touch. I, from the from the other bench to here, you know, this would be a good place to take a break if I wasn't in a hurry. I'm, I'm running out of time. But we'll stop there on the way back, and uh, you can still kind of see we're up on the ridge still. Really, just enjoying it. Uh, but I do like to show the benches because, yeah, it's real important. Um, because some portions of the trail, there's just no place to stop and sit down, you know. And whoop, look at this, another cobweb. All right, let's keep going. So we went through a, uh, a really wide open area, and I uh, kind of have div dived back into uh, some pretty dense foliage here. Uh, Still very, very nice, very, man, what a, I know I keep saying, well, well, well maintained section of the Florida Trail. Uh, really think you could hike this uh, any time of the year. Uh, maybe not a, right after a rainstorm or something, but, uh, you know. But uh, just kind of getting a different look. Um, so let's just continue going. It's obvious at this point, I'm gonna have to cut this into two videos. Just too much good scenery. You know, so we're coming up and here's another ravine going down off of the ridge. That sun's gone in behind the cloud. I'm, uh, makes it hard to see the cobwebs when your sun goes in behind the cloud. Look at that, isn't that cool? With the, with the rock formation here and the palm tree down there. Yeah, it's just uh, really awesome. I mean, I, I remembered this hike, but I've only done it one time. I definitely would just come back here for a day of exercise, you know, once this video is made, because uh, then we won't be making any more video on this portion of the of the hike. But, uh, all right, let's, uh, boy, a lot of clips. I'm going to take me a long time to put this video together. Here, here look at these little ravines. There's another one over here. Oh, man, this is, uh, kind of reminds you of being up in the mountains, really. You know, that's, uh, you know, I know in Florida, <laughs> we're only 83 feet above, above sea level right here, but uh, still, I mean, it's, it's just got the feel of being, a, you know, one of those uh, hikes up in the mountains. Here's another, another ravine. Really cool, really cool. All right, so this is the landmark I've been trying to reach today. Because uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue on this way a little further. Uh, but I just remembered this. Uh, this is where I turned around the last time I was here because I remembered this structure. And this would be a good place to, you know, to hike up to from the other side. Uh, if, if, if and when I find, <laughs> find that entrance, wherever hue it is, I gotta get on the computer and I guess just figure out what road that is because I've driven a motorcycle around in there and I never have found it. Who knows what this used to be. Uh, but if you wanted, you know, like you tell this is a horse trail, this goes somewhere. I can see the, the hoof prints in here so what what I'm gonna do is go I got about another 15 minutes before I got to turn around because I uh, got the you know if we didn't have the hike back we could do the whole the whole the whole trail but you know you got to hike back I mean unless you can put a vehicle on both sides which you could if you if you were here with somebody there used to be a bench right here but it's rotted out 
unfortunately. So this will be all new for me. I've never seen this before. So we're just going to go about, uh, we're going to go to about 420 today. And then I got a, I got a two, a little over two hour hike back, depending on how fast I can go. Sometimes you, you go a little slower on the way back <laughs> than you do on the way up. And like I said, I don't, we'll stop at that bench and have a, have a drink of water and uh, chill for just a minute. But I don't want to, I don't want it to get dark on me. I wish we could have gotten out here a little sooner. But you can kind of see it's a, it's a little different look on once you cross that road. Uh, you know, no, other than spiders, uh, no bugs that I know of. I'm kind of looking down at the pants. I'm not seeing anything on them. Uh, those, I mean, those uh, black ticks, I know they're small, but you, once, <laughs> once, once they're all over you, you can find them, don't worry. Uh, so those wood ticks, I guess, as they call them. Alrighty, so let's, uh, that's the landmark where we'll hike up to from the other side. And then we will have knocked out this portion of the Florida Trail for videos anyway. Not, not that I won't come back and hike this. This is a, it's a bit of a haul to get here on the motorcycle, but it is a, it is a nice ride. I was fast and furious coming out here. Uh, there's a deer. See him? There he goes. Woo, that was cool. I got that on the video. All right. Okay, let's just, uh, cut it off right there. Like I said, we're making two videos, but uh, you can tell us it's just really awesome hike. Uh, yeah, you're back in here. I mean, you know, I'm not hearing any car noise. Uh, you know, you, it's, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I probably have cell phone signals, so if you did want to get in trouble, you could probably call it in. Like I said, they can triangulate on the phone with a, with a drone, and then uh, and then they'll bring a... Uh, Probably down that, that uh, road back there where the horses were. They'd probably come down with one of those uh, four-wheel ADVs to come out here and get you. You get, did get in trouble. So, I mean, it's uh, a little bit different than being up in the Ocala National Forest where <laughs> you ain't got no doggone cell phone signal, no way to get in touch with anybody. Uh, and, you know, well, yeah, even on both trails, you're not going to see anybody. You know, I, I, if I see somebody on this trail, I would just... I would, I'd, I'd probably scare the hell out of them because, <laughs> you know, you don't expect to, to see anybody because, uh, like I said, not too many people know about this section of the Florida Trail or how nice it is. So, anyway, let's just go about another 15 minutes and then uh, I'll take one more video and then we'll turn around and head on back. Check him out, man. Got a turtle. Boy, he's moving too. Look at him go. There he goes. That was one thing I didn't comment on was the wildlife. I mean, we did see a deer, and we saw a uh, I saw a cardinal. Uh, so it's not a great burden trail. And uh, if this is a trail, <laughs> this can't be the trail. It says foot traffic. What in the world? Now it could be. This is going to be a tough hike. I guess it is the trail. Man. Talk about going from well maintained to uh, in need of, of of work. Yeah, wow. This uh, you could get some 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 bugs on you right through here, which uh, I guess you know I'd have to load up with the uh, the DEET and the um, vinegar again before I'd hike this. All right, I'm turning back. Uh, you guys have a good one. I just got the I just saw the turtle. I had to get him. All right, this is what I was hoping for. Because this is as good a landmark as any, because we'll hike it up. There's no advantage, really, at this point to keep going. If I could get to the other end, it'd be great. But uh, I'm not going to, certainly can't, can't make it. Um, so we're going to turn back right here. It's, it, if I can remember this fire break pretty easily. And then this is an unforgettable <laughs> tree. Look at that thing. Wow, that is just awesome. I, let's just get the whole thing on a video. Comes all the way over to here, kind of goes back this way. Look at that, and that them coming down onto the ground here. And then, I wonder, I bet that thing is a thousand years old, man. Look at this crazy tree. So we'll just go just a little ways back here and just get a, the tree from the other side. I just, uh, that's a, that might be the most impressive tree 
that I can recall in quite some time. Just a, uh, wow, insane. So that's, that would be uh, easy to remember that uh, as a place to uh, hike up to on the, on the, when we attack the trail from the other side. All right, so uh, I guess I'll just uh, go a little ways back here. Uh, you know, I got about five, five or ten more minutes, and it's just gorgeous. But I know I'm going to be hurting when I get back. I'm, I'm feeling it already, and I haven't even started <laughs> to hike back. You know, that's the that's the one thing I, I don't like is having to hike back. I wish I could just hike this to the end, because you know you always think, well, maybe I have hiked five miles because I've been moving pretty daggone and uh, fast. But I, you know, who knows. A lot of times I think, well, I've covered more distance than what I, I actually did. Um, but you can see it's uh, so that tree would be a good place to stop. All right, guys, peace out. Uh, I guess we'll get the final video when I get. Well, maybe maybe make this the final video right here, uh, just to summarize the hike. Uh, you know, it's uh, I, you know, being up on those ridges and uh, you know, just other than the spider webs, um, I just say, you know, gosh. It's, you can't, this is probably one of the best hikes on the Florida Trail um, that I, I know of, uh, that I've done so far. Uh, you know, as much as I enjoy being way deep in the, in the Ocala National Forest, it's nice to get out here. It's had everything, you know, you had the up and down, you had the hike along the ridges, you had all kinds of different looks. I mean, look at this, this is, so now we're breaking out into a pine forest with the, uh, I don't know why these are so well marked with the, the signs here. You don't see that on any other portion of the trail, I mean, which kind of makes me feel like maybe I'm getting close to the next parking area, but uh, probably not. But uh, at least it, it's uh, it's just you don't you don't want to turn around, you know, when you're when you're enjoying yourself this much. You know, if my body, if I was young, you know, I could come out here and just hike all day, you know, just do to go all the way to the end and then hike all the way back. That would just be an awesome day but man I after I hike about four hours you know I'm pretty done at that point I just can't uh, I can't well I mean I haven't hiked four hours yet I mean of course I mean that's four hours round trip to get back but uh, we got something coming up up here uh, who knows I just uh, I just feel like I'm so close to to finishing finishing this section of the Florida Trail but uh, anyway, we'll find that other other end at some point. If I get back soon enough, maybe I'll ride around again and try to find it. I I don't know why I couldn't find it before. So uh, anyway, let's just keep going a little longer and then we're turning back. Boy, that's going to be a lot of video. Here's another fire break. Whoa, there goes the hat. And uh, this is where I'm definitely stopping. But look, another bench. So I'm going to stop here and get a nice long drink of water, throw on some uh, bug spray, and uh, chill for just a minute, and then uh, head on back. So, I, I hate to, hate turning back, you know, because it could, that parking lot could be just around that corner, you never know. And let's look at another, there's another tree. So, all right, so uh, just, I'm glad I, get, I went just a little further. Now I don't even have to stop at that bench on the way back until I get to the, the second bench. Not the one that was busted, of course, but I'm mean, talking about the second bench where we stopped the first time I had an apple. So, but this is a nice touch, man. I always love seeing a bench along the way where you can toss your backpack on it and have a have a snack. And mainly, I'm just going to drink some lots of water here and just rest for a few before I do the that long journey back. Ooh, it's going to be going to be brutal. Well, I'm on my way back from one of the best hikes of the year, and I just thought I'd get this. This is a really unique palm you know set up here isn't that cool i don't think i got that on the way out you know but i just uh i was just seeing them all grouped together like that that is really really neat all right so i'm on my way back and i just paused at this the bench where we on the way out we had an apple and i thought well let's make another panoramic I'm going to be nice and quiet, just to show you what this is all about. I 
can see I'm sitting over here just drinking some water, enjoying this wonderful bench that the scouts put in for us. I know what a spot. I mean, this is, we could put a tent up here. I mean, this would be nice. We can, at least you got a bench. But, uh, so I'll be hiking back down off of the ridge and, and then it's just uh, not, not much to see from there. So one thing I am going to do is I'm going to try to search on Pruitt, P-R-U-I-T-T, -T, trailhead on the phone and see if, because uh, sometimes they, they do pop up on the, uh, for the directions and then I could just follow the phone on the motorcycle to get to the other side of, of where we're going to be hiking back. It'd be a five mile ride um, or more probably, a little, probably about six or seven miles. But anyway, just, just listen to that. So I've gotten this before. I'm just about finishing up the hike here, but I love it when that sun. We're just gonna we're gonna get, go back and get a pan of the sun. But when it's when you're looking out on the trail and the sun's kind of beating down, I mean there it is. Isn't that beautiful? You know, and there's the trail going back that way. But you can hear the car noise. You know, you're not back in the woods no more. But I just you know I love that that look of the sun just coming in with that evening sun. That's why I like hiking in the evenings. Anyway, that's uh, should be it for for this. Uh, uh, Florida trail hike uh, video and um, we've already done a summary of what I thought of it and uh, you guys peace out So I found the next leg of our journey But it wasn't the direction <laughs> I'm glad the phone found it because uh, it, it, I actually had to go um, The way I came in to Ross Perry. I thought it would be the other way but uh, So this is just talking about fire does require this is a high bear activity in this area so this is uh, well you can kind of see here's the uh, Ross Prairie trailhead and uh, we came up and we came this way towards Pruitt and here's the Pruitt trailhead it came down a dirt road which is good I'm glad I didn't have my car it would be filthy right now so we're gonna have to hike back this way a little ways I don't know how far I got on the uh, on the Florida trail coming in and then it looks like it goes up to well it looks like it just goes up to 484 and you just hike down 484 so that's gonna be kind of boring but uh, like I said we're gonna try to get all uh, 1,500 miles of the Florida trail so I guess you can kind of look we've already done all of this this goes through, uh, well here's the I-75 land bridge, they call it the land bridge trail and there's a trail underpass and we've done all of that all the way back to uh, the Santos trailhead which is here. So anyway those, this is all knocked out so we'll, uh, we'll get Pruitt over to here, the next Florida trail hike and then I guess I'll just have to come up and hike down 484 and that'll be boring and uh, so um, all right I did what a nice area I tell you what this is uh, see, once again it looks like the Florida Trail and this is a mountain bike trail that uh, roam together and we won't know until we hike this way on the next hike uh, so but what a nice area look you got your Porta John over here always looking for the bathroom got some picnic tables so you come in here and have a picnic uh, I mean, you're way out in the country here. Uh, lots of lots of horse. Uh, this horse country. Um, who knows where this dirt road goes? I'm not going to follow it today. But the next time we come, that'd be fun just to see see where this goes on down. And uh, but this will be uh, this is where we're coming back the next time we hike the Florida Trail. Now, if you recall from my previous video, there's another trail up from um, Ross Prairie that I want to hike first. Uh, looked like a looked like a good hiking area. And uh, so we're, you know, I'm in no hurry to get way out here on the Florida Trail. It's, we're getting so far out, I've really got to start camping along the way. 
it's going to be a long long bike ride back but i got to get going because uh, i don't want it to to get dark on me all right you guys peace out